Next question is from Stacy Lynn 22 Tips on how to stay consistent when you work 10-hour days. Oh, yeah. You know, here's what I found. So I've been working out for a long time. I'm very consistent with my workouts. In an ideal world, I would work out at probably 2 p.m. in the day. It's when I feel the strongest. It would be, you know, a couple hours after lunch. My pre-workout would hit real good. I'd have a great workout. I used to do this when I owned my studio. And, you know, clients would typically come in the morning and then in the evening. So I'd have that break. Um, and then, you know, things changed. We do this. I have more kids now, more responsibility. Um, so I have to schedule my workout first thing in the morning. If I start my day with a workout, I'm consistent. If I try to end my day with a workout or I try to inject my workout in the middle of my day, consistency becomes far more challenging. Now, I've seen this with clients and I've seen this with members. I've managed many, many, many gyms with lots of traffic. In other words, lots of members coming in. And I'll tell you what, there is a huge difference between the morning crowd and the afternoon or evening crowd. The afternoon or evening crowd is transient, often new people all the time. You go in at 6 a.m., even in a big box gym, not a hardcore gym, you go in at 6 a.m., do it for a week, and I guarantee you'll see the same crowd almost every single time. So that's my best advice. My best advice to someone is if you want to be consistent, one, and I know this sucks for some people that don't want to wake up early, whatever, but I tell you, this is a great strategy. Start your day with your workouts. You're far more likely to be consistent. Yeah. I, can, I, I can get down with that. Yeah, I was just going to think, like, I wonder what they do for a job because I was just thinking about this the other day because one of my friends works in construction and has a very intensive, like, manual, like, his body is very physical job, let's say. Uh, and so it works really long hours, but also was trying to get in lifts like at the end of the night and um, was focusing on things that it was already using quite substantially in his job uh, to, to the point where I wasn't having any progress with like shoulder with, mm. you know, like lots of different like muscle groups he was focusing on. And, you know, in terms of like getting the, the overall volume was really high. It was He's in pretty good shape just literally from his job. And so to, to kind of figure out a way to, to create a better workout, uh, you know, focused on maybe some muscle groups he's neglecting more and also like more of a restorative type of, uh, you know, workout was something that he actually started to then unlock, uh, you know, the, his, his what he was seeking in terms of his goal, physique and all that kind of stuff. I have, you know, I have another one for you. I agree with Sally, even though I'm not a morning person and I don't, I don't work out in the morning, but I do agree with that because that's very true. The most consistent people in the gym are always the 5 a.m. 5 a.m. crowd. But I have something to ask you guys that I, I think is interesting that I learned about myself, and I, I've, I've alluded to this on the show before. I don't know if I've pointed this fact out before, but um, you know, the most important day, if we're talking about consistency, right? So, if, if for my routine, if I'm going to be consistent with my training, you know what the most important day is that I train? Hmm. Is Monday. It, is it Monday, start of the week? Sunday. Sunday. Oh. And the reason why it's Sunday is because that's my last day off. Mm. And I'm about to start the work week. And if I if I if I'm already starting my work week and I got a good workout in the day before when oh, I, I had see. no excuses, right? Because work hits, 10 hour days happen, shit can hit the fan, right. whatever. But Sunday I'm off and technically I don't have to do anything. I learned a, a, about 10 years ago when I scheduled my training. And, and that this includes meal planning, everything. If I want to be consistent, if I schedule day one of whatever the plan is uh, on Sunday when my day is up, which is typically a day off for me. So this would d change if you have like Monday, Tuesday off or whatever that. Mm -hmm. So it's your last day off before you start the work week. Getting that workout in, making the meals, what all that is done, it sets the tone for what the week is going to be. Sure. If I miss Sunday's workout and I come in, it takes extra discipline for me to make sure I train on Monday. But if I had already lifted on Sunday, I already feel like I got good momentum going into the week and I don't want to stop that momentum. And I have found that I've, I've had way more success. And so I used to have a lot of success with clients getting them to actually plan training on the weekends because we tip what we typically do is work all week. We try and train and diet and do it well. And then the weekends, everyone goes, ah, I'm off of everything. I'm mm -hmm. off of work. I'm off of eating well. Mm -hmm. I'm off of training where I would go, okay, I'm not actually going to think about what days I'm going to train during the week. I'm not going to think about my diet so much in the week. I'm going to crush Saturday and Sunday. I'm going to, I'm going to make sure I have a successful day of eating and a successful day of training on the weekend. 
And what I have found is I actually go into the week with way more consistency than it, than if I had not done that over the week. Yeah, I think it's important. So that's one good point about that, Adam, is you have to kind of figure yourself out and what gets you going yeah. and what gets you consistent. You know, to the you you mentioned the const- your friend that's in construction. I had a cousin who worked in construction. This was years ago, um, and he still does. But this this particular instance was years ago. I managed. Uh, the 24 hour up in Sunnyvale and he wanted to start working out, wanted to get consistent, used to play football in high school. And he's like, man, it sucks because when I'm done with work around three or four, I think 4 PM, I think he was done with his job. He's like, I'm exhausted, man. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, moving beat sheet rock and roofing and do all this stuff. He's like, I'm dead tired and I'll drink a cup of coffee or drink a Red Bull, come in and try and work out. And I'm just not good. And I'm like, listen, dude, try working out first thing in the morning. And he goes, I would literally have to work out at 4 a.m. to make that happen. And I said, try it out and just see how consistent you are. I know you got to wake up earlier and do the whole thing. You just got to go to bed earlier. And he did it and he was extremely consistent. And he said, you're right. He goes, kind of sucks. I got to wake up earlier. I got to go to bed earlier. He goes, but when I start my day with my workout, first of all, I feel better during work. Yeah, you get more energized uh, at work. And he goes, and I never miss a workout because that's just the beginning of my day. It's the first thing on your list. When you move it down the list, it's like, I promise you, if I didn't work out first thing in the morning, it would be so hard uh, to be consistent. So um, yeah, great advice all the way around. 